What's going on everybody? It's King Starscream here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Monster Hunter Stories 2 save editor. So if you haven't already hit that subscription button for me, go ahead and do that now and we will jump on into this. Alright everybody, so before we get started, the first thing we're going to need is our Monster Hunter Stories 2 save file. So we're going to go ahead and put that on our desktop. And if you don't know how to get that, check out my video linked in the description below of how to use JKSV to export all your Nintendo Switch save files. So once you go ahead and get that on your desktop, we can move to the next step, which is creating a folder on your desktop called Monster Hunter Stories 2 Editor. You can name this whatever you guys like, I just prefer that. So once you get a file on your desktop, we'll go ahead into our browser. And we're going to type in Monster Hunter Stories to Save Editor. So the first link that pops up is this Monster Hunter Stories 2 Demo Save Editor. This is the link we want. We're going to scroll down until it says Download. We're going to go ahead and right click, open into a new tab and we're gonna go and download this. So right now the current version is 24. This was released two weeks ago. It's the most stable version and it's pretty cool. It does the job. So we're gonna download the zip folder. And once that's done, we're going to extract that into the other folder we just created. So go ahead and cut that out of your downloads. And go back to your desktop. Leave your browser open. Go to our desktop and enter that folder and we will paste that in here. Now, real quick, if you see this file down here, MHS2 editor, this is a file that I created myself um, because when you extract this, so go ahead and extract it here. When you extract this, it has all this info, you know, it's got all these item information, monster and talisman and stuff like that. So when you get this, you're going to have to uh, copy and paste all the information in there from the uh, document I'm about to show you. So if you don't want to do that, I created my own RAR that you can go ahead and download. I have it linked below. Um, and that's going to go ahead and do that for you so you don't have to copy and paste all the information. So I'm going to go ahead and use my file. So we're going to copy that in there and extract it. So go ahead and just download this one instead if you'd rather use that. Again, it's linked in the description below. And if not, you prefer using the base game, you can go ahead and keep using the point .24 like I showed you before. So once you get it extracted, go ahead and hit the application. And we want English. So you can change the language. We want English. I'm going to go to File and Open. And we're going to go to our Desktop. And we're going to click on our save file. And the first file we want is mhr underscore slot underscore one dot save. So that's our main file. We want to go ahead and open that. Open that bad boy up. And you can see our information is right here. You know, I'm level one. I got a thousand bucks. I've been playing for 20 minutes. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is change your money to max. We're going to just cross out a thousand and nine, 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 nine. So once you get that, that's cool. You're good to go. Next up, you have your trainer level, your uh, character level, I mean. Sorry, I'm so used to Pokemon. So you can't just enter like level 34 and your experience points are still zero because it won't register. You'll still be level one. So to show you how this works, I'm level 58 in my main game. So I'm going to enter level 58. And then you got to put the... Uh, experience points to reflect that so I have 68,803 experience points so when I inject this into the game I should be good to go at level 58 alright next up I'm going to show you is the monster editing so right here you have uh, Ranmar is the only monster I got the one you get at the start of the game I can go ahead and change its action and type so I'm going to go ahead and change Ranmar to a bezel goose so I'm going to go all the way down and click bezel goose. Bam. So I can also change his right action. I'm going to change it to roar. So now he knows roar. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next one I'm going to show. Oh, also you can do this stuff over here where you can change, uh, you know, all your genes and your bonuses and stuff like that. 
I don't really mess with that. But if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and mess with that. Up next, we got the egg editing. So right here, I don't have any eggs. So to generate a new egg, you just click append egg and go to click on it. And you can see it's not any monster. So what we need to do is go back to where we downloaded the uh, um, file, the GBA page that was the first one to show up. And we go down to ID list. We're gonna go ahead and open that into a new link. Close this down. All right, so egg share is where you're gonna to wanna to go on this docu list. So you see egg share um, and you got all these ID numbers over here. So to show you what's up, I'm gonna copy this black gravios. So you go over here to its ID and then you're gonna to wanna to copy all that. So we're gonna select it all and copy, go back to your editor and then you just paste hex and it'll come up as the black gravios. And if you want to get a new egg, again, append egg, click on none, and then I'll show you real quick again. We'll see that amazing smell gamma. We'll just go down here, double click, copy that, go back to our editor. Make sure you're on none because you'll replace the other one if you do it, paste it, and you should be good to go there. So that's how you make eggs. And next up, I'm going to show you how to do equipment. All right, so we got a great sword here. As you can see, I have an iron sword. We're gonna change that to a rugged great sword. Bam, I'm gonna change it to level three, bam. I'll give myself another item. We'll go ahead with the chicken decapitator. Bow, and again, I can make it level three. You can make all kinds of weapons, uh, great swords, you know, all the weapon types that they have. You can give yourself all kinds of crazy stuff like this. Um, max it out. You can do other weapons, obviously, too. You know, all the other stuff. So check that out as you want. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys are the items. So, you know, here you can max out all the items. I have all uh, the DLC stuff. That's why I have these items. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. You max it out. Just go ahead and 999 them. 999 you know, 9999. And if you want a new item, again, you just hit append, and then here's all the stuff. Uh, you know, pick whatever you guys want. You know, black scale, bam. And then it's down here. Max it out at 9999, so that's how you do that. And uh, just to make sure you get the save file uh, saved and everything's all good, go to File, Save, and it'll pop up. You're gonna go ahead and uh, click that and save it. You're gonna override it, yes. All right, so once you guys have your file edited, we're gonna go ahead and change the name of it to edited. That way when we move it to our switch, we can access it easier. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and copy this folder. So copy that to whatever your switch uh, SD card is named. Go to the JKSV file, and then your game file, and just paste it. So that's how we get our edited file onto our JKSV. So we're gonna go to the switch now and inject the save, and I'm gonna show you all the changes that we made so you can see that this works. So I will see you on the switch. All right, back on our switch, we're going to go into JKSV so we can inject our modded save into the game. That way you guys can see that this was accurate and it works. And we'll go ahead and inject that real quick. All right, now that that's done, we'll go ahead and open our save file. So check out these eggs real quick. They're the eggs that I edited so you can see that that part worked. Also, if you look over here, you can see my level is 58, so that worked as well. And the items are at 999, so that also worked. So the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go hatch those eggs we created. That way you can see that they are, in fact, the monsters I made them. So we'll go ahead and hatch two eggs. So this first one should be the Black Gravios we made. Go ahead and wait for him to hatch. And it is indeed Black Gravio. So you can see that that one worked. We got this next egg I'll show you. It should have been the Gameth we made. 
And sure enough, it's Gameth. So you can see that those work. So next up, I'm going to show you we edited our monster from a Velocidrome to a Bezel Goose. It worked pretty good. So as you can see, these mods work for save editing. So go ahead and check this out if you're interested. It's been King Starscream here. Thank you guys for watching. Like always, stay safe out there and remember your training.